So, how do you like the City of Angels so far? Oh, it suits me. And your friends are very nice. How would you know? You've been held hostage by Kelly the whole time. <laughs> well, maybe it's the other way around. You know, you two are very much alike. Really? How so? I just think that you both try to be very noble and do the right thing, very grounded in reality, but deep down inside, you're being pulled elsewhere. Elsewhere? Hmm. Like where? I don't know. Maybe towards each other? Is this your intuition talking? <laughs> Loud and clear. Well, Mariah, Kelly and I had our chance. It didn't work out. So now we're just friends. End of story. And you accept that? Yeah. And so does Kelly. Doesn't she? If you have to ask. Maybe it's not the end of story. What is going on in that little Texan head of yours? What? I just... Oh, I just had a feeling about you tonight. Well, I hope Tracy's included in that, because she is who I'm taking tonight, you know. Oh, I know. And I'm trying to make it work. I know. And Kelly and I never made much sense when you really think about it anyway. So, why don't you do me a favor and get to know Tracy? She's a good kid. And stop trying to stir things up. What, me? Hey, Chips, Tracy around? She went to get coffee. Just had her editorial wrap up? Yep, queued up and ready to roll. Right. Thanks, bro. What is our administration thinking? A new age festival? Although I did enjoy hearing the stories of angel expert Mariah Murphy, I've still got to wonder why anyone would buy into this. What's next? A new age studies program? A PhD in psychic channeling. Taking up on me? Really that I'm the news director. That's my job. You don't like it? No, I don't. I think you've gone out of your way to slam the festival and Mariah. Brandon, I'm not slamming Mariah. What do you want me to do? Slant it to bolster her book sales because she's your friend? What kind of journalism would that be? I just think you've inserted a little envy into it, that's all. Envy? Over what? I don't know. Maybe all the time she's been spending with Kelly? Yeah, well, I don't trust the two of them together. Why not? I think they're ganging up against me. Trace, aren't you being just a little bit paranoid? Oh, yeah? Well, it wasn't so long ago that Kelly told me right to my face that she was still in love with you. Does that sound paranoid to you? Does, uh, does this mean you're not coming tonight? I thought you were coming to the concert. I was. Now I'm not. Rob Trouble? You know, I guess it's just not in my cards to hold on to anything good. I wouldn't buy into that if I were you. Well, it's really hard not to, Brandon. I mean, I really wanted things to work out with me and Rob. So what's the problem? He's too nice. He's too nice. Hmm. All right, well, why don't you come with me anyway? Because misery does love company. Really? What happened? Tracy and I are having a philosophical difference of opinion. Which means you had a fight. Copy. So come on, get up, get dressed, let's go. Maybe a little harp and Tibetan bell music will be just what the doctor ordered. No, I think I'm just gonna wallow in my misery for a little longer. You go on without me. Have fun. Okay. See ya. Bye.